Hi, and welcome to Results Positive video channel. My name is Angel Tran, a senior solution architect specializing in all of HP ADM products. Before I begin, I want to give you a quick introduction about Result Positive and who we are. We are an HP Platinum partner. We cover all the major HP software offerings, as you can see from this graphic. Results Positive has been recognized by HP as an industry leader with several Partner of the Year awards. What sets Results Positive apart from others is a team focused on integrating the technologies across HP product organizations as well as all technologies outside of HP. In today's demonstration, I'll be introducing the new HP Mobile Center and will take you through the, some of the key functionalities and how it integrates with other HP products. Before I go into my demo, I would like to show you a quick slide here that provides you a quick summary of all the key points about HP Mobile Center. HP Mobile Center is a mobile testing solution that addresses all your mobile app testing needs. It supports both native and hybrid app on Android and iOS devices, allows you to perform functional and non-functional tasks from your devices or within your workstation. HP Mobile Center extends the HP ALM capabilities and fully integrates with other HP testing solutions like Sprinter for manual testing, UFT for automated tests, and Loadrunner for performance testing. Along integrated with HP network virtualization software, it also improves accuracy, reliability, and performance by virtualized real-world network conditions in your functional and performance tasks. In today's demo, I'll be recording and running an automated test through using HP Unified Functional Test with and without network virtualization profile, performing a manual exploratory test with HP Sprinter, recording and running a real-life load test with HP Load Runner, and exploring the HP Mobile Center Lab management portal. So, so the first thing I'm going to do is go into my UFT, select the mobile built-in add-in here, configure my UFT to connect to the my mobile center server. create a GUI test and define my applications and device under record and runtime settings. I'll be choosing my Android native app. Select my device to record my test. Once you click record, a window will open and displays streaming what is happening on your real device as if you were holding it in your hands, allowing you to interact with it. Once the application is installed and launched, you can interact with the application in many ways. You can directly type in using your workstation keyboard or directly using from the device keyboard itself since I already have a recorded script that I use so I'm going to stop this recording and open up my safe script that I had. My test script will log into Facebook on the native app, select ch to choose not to uh, sync up the contacts and update the profile status to the account.
test will replay and you can see all the interactive actions on the right screen here. The replay successfully ran without any error. Now with HP Mobile Center integrated with network virtualizations configured, I can define my test script to a network profile. So to do this, I'm going to uncomment out my statement here. I'm going to set my network profile to be 4G good. Each network profile defines a set of network conditions to use during the test runs. So I'm going to replay this test now. the test ran successfully and let's check out all the actions so the difference between this test and the last test is that this test created an analysis file since we defined the network profile this creates an analysis network file that helps with the network optimization recommendations so if you use the Shandra analytic tool you can look into this file and it will provide you a list of recommendations to optimize your applications. Next, I'm going to the HP Sprinter to demo the HP manual testing capability on the mobile. Once logged in to AOM and I can open up my exploratory test. For this demo, I'm going to choose another native app. It's a very simple Android native app, which I already find within Sprinter. I can start my exploratory test on our devices here. And once it's launched, I can start exploring my applications. start doing my manual test and you can convert all the capturing steps into test cases and save it to AOM. Next test, I'm going to demo the performance test with the VU Gen. For this demo, I'm going to use an iOS application, an iOS device. I'm going to choose my true client native mobile protocol. Configure VU Gen to connect to 
mobile center server which I already have the setting here select a different network virtualization profile I'm going to choose my local Wi-Fi for this time select my iOS app this is a uh, very simple iOS app that I developed select my iOS device I'll be running this on my iPad mini and start recording my business transactions since I already recorded a script I'm going to use that script open up my save script So this script has the press me transaction and the go back transaction. So before I add my test into my load runner, I will rerun this test in the video gen to make sure everything works correctly. Test run successfully, so now it's okay for me to add into the load test. Start running my scenario. Wow, my test is running. Under load, I can actually go into the lab management portal and look at my actual device that is currently running for my load test and see what test is currently running on my mobile device. As you can see, my test is running on my iOS app. Drag it over here so you can see it clearly. Select my past transaction. Next, I'll let's go back to my lab management console. This is the HP Mobile Center Lab Management Console. This helps administrator to seeing all the applications that is installed on the server, or you can actually upload additional application. You can also look at details information, devices detail in information, like the CPU, the, 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 the ID, the, the type of uh, OS of your applications. You can also create user accounts from this lab management console. So I hope you enjoy the video. I greatly appreciate your time. I'll see you next time. Thank you.